the shark waits for each sense to be triggered. Hearing, smell, sight, electroreception, and touch. The stingray has no other option but to bolt from cover. Shunning the limelight, a reef stonefish conceals itself on the sea floor. A master of disguise, it's easy to see how this predator got its name. Its mottled colours blend in with the reef setting. It will even tolerate algae growing on its skin to further aid concealment. By burying itself in the sandy seabed, it becomes almost invisible. Even its large bulbous eyes are indistinguishable from its surroundings. This nocturnal predator preys on crustaceans, small fish and cephalopods that stray too close. The slightest movement would betray its presence. The stonefish's strike is explosive. Its wide gape rapidly envelops unwary prey. Its use of surprise attack makes it a formidable predator. But the stonefish is most renowned for its deadly defence. It's the most venomous fish in the world. Concealed within its dorsal fin are 13 needle-like spines. Fed by venom glands, these spines form a lethal defensive array. A toxin unique to stonefish, known as Veruca toxin, attacks the nervous and circulatory systems and can prove fatal to would-be predators. In humans, stonefish envenomation can result in severe pain and life-threatening restrictions to blood flow and breathing. Hunters beware. More often than not, these silent assassins will have the last laugh. In the 20th century, whales on the Sea of Okhotsk were hunted nearly to extinction. Now, whaling has ended here, and the large mammals have begun to return. Humpback whales are the most common visitors. But other species also venture into this remote sea. Orcas. Orcas live in family pods of 10 or more, led by a dominant female. The whales are constantly on the move. That cloud is what they're after. A banquet. Just hatched in a nearby inlet, the herring are too young to reproduce. Two years will pass before they seek their traditional spawning grounds, if they survive. Orcas are graceful, intelligent hunters. The orca pod drives the herring together. Then, the largest member unleashes its powerful tail, killing or stunning dozens of fish with one mighty blow. All that remains is to reap the harvest. The orcas gorge while they can. 
the herring will soon disperse, and weeks may pass before the pod finds such riches again. Like orcas, humpback whales also hunt in groups, but with different tactics. First, some humpbacks dive under the swarm to drive it toward the surface. Others encircle the swarm in a ring of bubbles. Then, they swim through the bubble net, maws agape. Grooves in the mouth filter out water, leaving hundreds of fish caught in a single gulp. Two species, two tactics, same success. Say hello to the largest predator on Earth, the sperm whale. We think of them as gentle giants, but these submarine-sized mammals are actually deadly hunters. Many bear the scars of violent clashes with dangerous prey, 10 times the size of a human. Since they stalk their prey a mile beneath the surface, witnessing an actual kill is impossible. So in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Bob Roca has been piecing together clues to how sperm whales hunt from their bones. We have this fantastic animal here. I would say this is a very effective predator, especially to be able to get to be like he is, 48 feet, about 14 and a half meters long. You don't get that big um, un unless you're a good hunter. Approaching 60 tons, an adult sperm whale weighs more than a Boeing 737. Its head is the size of a minibus and has a jaw packed with 10-inch teeth, some as wide as a man's arm. Ideal for keeping hold of its enormous prey, colossal squid weighing up to 1,600 pounds. The length of a school bus with two-inch suckers at a razor-sharp beak Colossal squid are one of the most formidable predators in the ocean today. And as there is no natural light a mile beneath the surface, sperm whales are hunting them blind. So how do they find a colossal squid in the dark? Bob Roca believes the secret lies inside their enormous head. The obvious thing, of course, is this giant rectangular block of a head, which the whale would use for making sound. So just like bats, sperm whales track down prey using pulses of sound. First, they force air from their right nostril through two muscular clappers at the end of their head. As the two muscles slap closed, they make a loud click. These clicks travel out of the head, through the water, and bounce off prey like an echo. When the echo returns to the whale, it carries information about where a squid is located. Their ability to use their echolocation to find their food and get right up to it and swallow it whole is, is just, it's just so precise. It's roughly 234 decibels peak to peak. If you were right next to it, it would probably deafen you. In fact, it's the loudest sound in the animal kingdom. These booming sound pulses act like a flashlight in the dark of the deep sea, enabling sperm whales to detect colossal squid up to 1,500 feet away. The squid's basic hearing system is unable to detect the whale's high-frequency clicks, leaving it totally unaware of the approaching danger. This allows the sperm whale to launch the perfect attack. This hairy frogfish has better luck. She's an expectant mother and has more at stake than just an empty stomach. She tucks behind the coral and waits.
her mouth balloons to 12 times its original size, creating a vacuum to suck in the prey. The entire process takes just one six thousandth of a second. Far too quick for the prey to react. It's the fastest bite in the animal kingdom. Amidst the subaquatic realm, one puny pugilist stands out from the crowd. The peacock mantis shrimp. Otherworldly in appearance, there's more to this odd creature than meets the eye. It's a formidable predator. Its bizarre appearance is the result of 80 million years of evolution. With an appendage for every occasion, the peacock mantis shrimp is the Swiss army knife of the marine world. Five pairs of legs for feeding, three pairs of legs for walking, two pairs of antenna for reception, 10 gills for breathing, two eye stalks bearing an extraordinary pair of compound eyes, and even a set of windscreen wipers. But of its 34 appendages, it's those club-shaped limbs at the fore that make it a true killer. At just six inches, he punches well above his weight. His hunting strategy is one of brute force. Understandable when prey species include the well-armed and well armoured, not to mention well camouflaged. But camouflage is of little use when hunted by a peacock mantis shrimp. His eyes are amongst the most complex in the animal kingdom. While human eyes have just three colour photoreceptors, he has 12. With the capacity to see far beyond the human visible spectrum, very little escapes his attention. While the crab's defences are formidable, this seasoned brawler treats them with contempt. He's more than a little territorial and knows exactly who's moving through his patch. Unaware of the mantis shrimp's presence, the crab strays close. Too close. With the velocity of a 22 caliber bullet, the mantis shrimp strike is the fastest in the animal kingdom. The assault is so fast that friction makes the surrounding water boil. The devastating punch knocks limbs off the victim and delivers a quick death. The tagged hammerhead begins its search scanning the sea floor for any signs of life. The stingray may be hidden beneath the sand, but it cannot hide from the incredible hunting senses of the great hammerhead shark. The shark waits for each sense to be triggered, hearing, smell, sight, electro-reception, and touch.
the Stingray has no other option but to bolt from cover. The shark uses its hammer to pin the ray down to the seafloor and tries to get a good bite. But the ray fights back. Finally, the hammerhead locks onto the wing to immobilize its prey. But with blood in the water, a large bull shark is also on the hunt. The hammerhead returns to finish off its meal.